Hello, so today I will show you how, how I'm doing the animations for my for my game. So first of all, I have to export asset action, export this ball because I will do the animation for this ball. Basically the pose, not the animation, but never mind. Now I'm opening the cascader. I'm opening the sample, the queen. Here is the default, completely clean um, body. So now I have to press import FBX. I want to add the model the mesh import, and I'm going to my folder where I have saved my ball. Here it is. First of all, I will remove this. Yes, this thing I don't need. Okay, so here we have two tracks. The first one is for the queen, for the character. The second one is for the ball. Uh, first of all, I will move this ball basically a little bit up, so I will have it on the height that I need, the position which I need. <laughs> yeah, very important. You have to put the the point of this exactly into the K in the place where you have placed K. Otherwise, it will not let you move the ball. Is it so big, really? Okay, now what do we have to do? First of all, I will click on the queen and I will block those uh, three points. This is for the for the pelvis, for the body and for the head. I'll press shift Z to, to block them because if, um, when I will start moving the hands, they will start moving also and this is what I don't want. Now, I'm taking the two hands, I'm moving them up and forward, just like I think I need them to be. Then we will adjust this hand, we will adjust this hand. Okay, now I can free those things. Again, shift Z. The body became into the correct position. Now let's move a little bit ball because basically ball doesn't matter. It will appear on the place where I need it to appear. So I'm closing this. I'm just clicking on the ball. I'm putting it a little bit up and backward. Nice. Now what do we have to do? We have to adjust, adapt the positions of the hands. So I guess that I will simply rotate this hand. Like this. And then, this is basically the lower arm, which I'm rotating right now. And I will rotate this. Okay, so we have it like this, more or less, maybe a little bit down, a little bit like this, so we have it naturally, like the hands must be, just this position. For right now, this is just a sample, because I will edit it, uh, I will uh, export this to the Unreal, and I will take a look how does it look in the Unreal, okay? Maybe this hand a little bit over here. Okay, so for now it looks good for me. I'm not touching the fingers, I'm not touching that, uh, anything else. So I will place the keys here. I will make this video, this animation, 60, uh, 60 keys. Otherwise it will not let me export this from the Unreal. Yes, I can make it also two keys, doesn't matter. But for me, this is easier to work with the 60 keys. I will hide this uh, ball because it will not let me also import it to, to the Unreal if this ball is also here. And now simply this way, export, export FBX, animation, export. Now we have to select the folder where it will go. It will go here, bold, ball. You just have to find, to navigate the folder where you would like it to be. In my case, it is already here. Uh, I'm pressing save. You can see message. It was exported from the cascader. Now we are going to the Unreal and it say import. Yes, we want to import this. I'm selecting the many. Now, as I have here a few different mannequins in a few different folders, so I will have to select my. You, if you have the clear folder, uh, clear project, you will have only one of them. So I'm selecting this one. Uh, I don't touch anything else over here, just click import and now I can navigate to my to my folder. 
So, animations, it was miscellaneous and it is here. As uh, I'm using uh, this game animation sample, so here my mannequin is this uh, Unreal um, Orange mannequin. So the simplest way to do is I'm just replacing the skeleton. You am um, over here. You can try to import this directly to this UV skeleton. I honestly uh, wasn't trying it. I don't know. Save all. Save. Now we need to um, create the animation one. I don't think, actually. I don't need montage. So let me check what will happen. Save all, save, and if I will take it over here, I can see that I have my my mannequin which is holding the ball. So if I want to see how it will look like, I will just um, add preview asset ball. Let me check. Let me copy the name of this ball. It will be much faster. Then just search like this. Here it is. So, for example, the second one, assemble 02. So, what I want to do, I want to add uh, add preview asset, and we are looking for the ball 02. Here it is. It was added, right? It was added. It was added to the left hand. Okay, never mind. Directly. So if I will move it like this, and you know what I'm doing? I'm moving the hand. Very smart. Surely I cannot do that. Why? I cannot change. Right, because I have added this. Hmm because I have added this not to the socket but to the hand so this was my mistake now okay so if I will take it like this and like this and adjust this as I want it to be and you can see that almost 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 so basically then you can adjust simply uh, work with the fingers if you need it like this you can see if it is no like this you can see if it is working or not like this you can see if this is beautiful or not adjust the position of the fingers the easiest way you can uh, adjust the animation here if you want you can edit it so simply let's say i don't like the position of this finger i'm just selecting the rotation i will rotate the fingers they want it to be so maybe i want to be closer i don't know like this like this so let's say I want it to be, I adjusted this position, I click the letter S and as you can see here is the track which has changed my animation and then my animation is exactly as I need. Or you can just edit this over here in the cascader depending as you would like and simply re-import this to the Unreal. So it was very quick, very fast and I hope it was very easy for you. So see you later.